All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back and we are going to be installing Damon Motorsports uh, oil cooler for our Focus ST. Now we like to track this thing. It gets really hot in the summer here. So this is going to cool the engine temp and keep the coolant temps down because they run through the same passage. And um, they don't mix, but they run in the same area to cool each other off. So this is going to drop our engine temps significantly and i'll put on the screen the testing they did and it is insane so right here we have our thermostat now this allows the engine to get to operating temperature before the little valve in there opens which is amazing because it'll provide the right amount of cooling to your motor so that you don't overcool it or just cause catastrophic damage to overly cold oil because oil needs to be a certain operating temperature so it can do its job so right now we're going to go ahead and drain the oil drain the coolant and then we're going to go ahead and get the line situated and all routed out all right so now we are draining our coolant into this bin right here now you got a little nipple down there I'll show you right there and you can drain your coolant with this hose and then drain it into a bucket so you can reuse it because this stuff is expensive this right here is the oil filter um, housing where it screws in so we have to take that off and we'll have to cut some lines we'll have to unbolt the starter unplug the battery little stuff like that but it's just a lot of little stuff that adds up and it makes you be it's like ugh, just so much work so uh, this is what we'll be replacing um, that pump right there where the filter screws in and then that's pretty much it right there and then we have our new lines and then our connector right there where we'll have to um put the new line on so we're cutting it right there also i forgot to mention this is my custom four inch intake i made um here's your iit bung factory bung in the back um for your um catch can stuff your pcv and then it connects to the turbo down there with your boost reference line. So yeah, I want to start making these for the big turbo community. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I had some fitment issues at first, so I had to adjust the brackets. Made a little ripple on my hood, but that's taken care of. That won't happen anymore. And then you will have to bend up this tab back there to make some clearance. This is pretty much where it sits. You can get fresh air right there and through your uh, snorkel right here. All right, so now we'll be prepping the cooler with our bracket supplied right here by Damon. So they tell us to grab these washers right here. These are rubber washers. I can grab one like so in between the uh, cooler and the bracket shortest ones and we will be putting them on so the shortest one will be on the right side which is this one and then the longer of the three or the shortest of the three second shortest will be right here so it's important with the AM fittings that you add a little bit of oil on there not too much, but you want a little bit of oil.
right, so now we're going to put our AN fitting ORBs on this, our thermostat. And they are right here. Super nice AN fittings and hardware. I have to say that this is some of the nicest stuff I've seen. And nice stuff is usually really good quality on the track, so it's awesome that they do this. So I've mounted the uh, cooler, use an M6, uh, M6 tap and then an M8 by 125 tap right here. You'll have to buy those and tap into the plastic. And then you'll have to drill quarter inch holes in the center of these holes right here, right there. And then use their supplied hardware to mount it right there. Um, before you tighten these down all the way, make sure you put these on first and then that'll give you some wiggle room to figure out where these go. So now I have to plug these holes or else oil will shoot out. There's two up here and then one on the bottom. I should have done that beforehand. <laughs> So we finally got that dang thing off after like three hours of torture in between all this crap. You gotta move all this stuff out the way just to get your starter um, connectors off. That's a pain. And then you gotta get to the, the lines down there which is a pain because they're oriented a completely different way than your hand. So it's just been a struggle this whole entire time, I'm not gonna lie. Probably one of the harder installs I've done. It's just a bunch of nonsense. So I still gotta cut the line and then clean this up and put the new um, um, bracket on for the AN lines that route around to there. So it's just hard to film. I'm um, sorry I haven't been filming, but I haven't really gotten anything done. So this is where we picked up off of, tapped these, put this bracket on, mounted it, all the lines are tight. So you guys can do this install. Um, I will say probably the hardest part is putting the lines on. Now I recommend leaving these two bolts loose right here that the thermostat is mounted to so you can properly get these 90 degree fittings on because if it's not loose then it'll actually hit the frame and you won't be able to get them on so leave that loose push it that way and you'll be able to get these lines on now this was another story there is a dowel that has to sit flush in there so it can't move i was having a struggle trying to get that dowel into place finally did it now it's good those lines i ha i found it easiest to screw them in and before bolting that gold plate down I had it up here and I tightened everything up then put the gold plate on and that seemed to work really good um, there was just no way for me to tighten it up when the gold plate was bolted down so that's what I did but yeah this was pretty much the install it was hard but it's not impossible um, it was a lot of work but I know you guys can do it because I did it so <laughs> that's uh not saying too much but i know how to get my way around this car 
but it takes some time, a little frustration, but in the end I'm happy and I know that the engine temps on the track are going to be perfect. So thank you to Damon Motorsports and we will get some more content with this at the track and I'll show you guys some engine temps and stuff like that just to get some data and definitely I will keep you guys updated on this because I know the ST community wants one of these. So don't worry, all this is coming.